How many value propositions can you have for the same thing? One of the biggest mistakes people make is to believe that value propositions map one and one with a solution or a product. One product, one value proposition. There's no rule along those lines. The number of value propositions is simply determined by the number of targets that you have. Let's take a great example, Gore-Tex. Now, Gore-Tex makes one solution, Gore-Tex, a breathable fabric that allows water to go out without letting water come in. But they don't have one value proposition, they have hundreds, if not thousands. If you visit their website, you'll find that it doesn't start by saying, hello, we're Gore-Tex, here's our technology, here's how it works, here's our breathable fabric. It starts by saying, who are you? Are you a mountain climber? Are you a mountain biker? Are you a deep sea fisherman? Are you a deep sea diver? Are you a round the world yachtsman? And you pick one, let's say I'm a mountain climber. And then it says, okay, here are the insights of climbing a mountain when the weather comes in and you're forced to go back down. Now, wouldn't you want to carry on? Now you can beat the weather by using Gore-Tex and it explains the solution. That's one value proposition for mountain climbers, but there'll be a different one for divers and a different one for yachtsmen, always with the same solution, Gore-Tex. Another company that does the same is Bittrex. They have one solution, the world's bitterest chemical, but they have 500 value propositions. They have solutions for agrochemicals and for household products and for bleaches. Anything you shouldn't put in your mouth or consume, you can have Bittrex in it as a solution, which makes you spit it out. That means that you can have multiple value propositions for the same solution. great to know that if your child were to swallow something dangerous, they'd do what they do best. Spit it out. Spit it out.